Oh, he's gonna get the beast done. Oh he's no! No, oh, he man, got no. The beast done. <laughs> uh oh, hopefully, they don't get us all. Uh oh, oh, uh oh. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Santa Clarita, California, I believe, where we are beginning Car Week 2021. That's right, never been here before, haven't been to California in a while, but Car Week is certainly an occasion to get us out. And so this is the first time for Fuel Run for yeah. us? Yeah, we've never been on Fuel Run. I've been to Monterey a couple times, never before any rally up to Monterey. Now, of course, we're in the truck, so- We brought you... the right car. <laughs> yeah, perfect rally car, right? The truck. Why do we have the truck? Hmm, it may or may not be that we have something to trailer home with us. You'll see, we'll explain more Maybe, later. you know, if we win something at the auction. Yeah, the McLaren F1. Yeah, that's our plan. We're gonna bid on the McLaren F1. If we win it, we have a truck and trailer to take it back, right? Yep. So that's why we bought the, brought the truck instead of some cool car. But don't worry, there'll be plenty of cool cars here at the show, at the Fuel Run start line. Maybe I'll be able to hitch a ride with somebody. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoy this one. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, here we are. Porsche, Santa Clarita. Oh my goodness, look at all the cars. Let's go check this stuff out. Driver meeting is about to start where they go over everything about the rally going up the coast. Uh, but just check out the cars here, absolutely sick. You guys saw them in that little edit. This SVJ we saw coming up the 405, so sick with those wheels. Chris, what's your favorite car here? Chris, Carter GT downstairs in the yeah. museum showroom. Yeah, you got that on the video? I the did. Clip? Yeah, they got like a little museum down there. I, I had no idea that was there. Uh, Carrera GT and a nine, two 918s. Yeah. Like what? Historical Welcome to Car Week. Race cars. All right, so we'll do this little driver meeting real quick and then we will get on our way, get mobbing with these, what, 150 supercars. Damn. This is going to be crazy. Let's go. Filling up the 720. We got Miss Christina Roki in here and Grant. Hello, keeping up. We were mobbing. Um, this thing looks mighty fine, especially from the rear. Love the look of this car. Yes. How is it driving? Good, good, good. You were driving that leg. You driving the next leg? All right, sweet. I like it. Nope, not breaking any laws. No cops, no problems. Uh, so yeah, we're off to lunch right now. And then that'll be like the first break point for the whole rally, but here's a few of us, you know, getting gas. The Alex Choi 720 here, looking pretty good. rolling up. Alex and I just parked over there. No, are we docking these cars? Uh, yeah, yeah, you park them right next to the boats. I and think we're shipping them to China. Yeah, we're shipping them off. The lunch spot here in Morro Bay, super sick like rock formation over there. Never been here before. Thank you, Alex, for the ride. That was a lot of fun. It's actually kind of nice having the truck here because we're able to load all of the suitcases and luggage in the truck. Christian has like 
four extra gas cans in the back with E85 for Caden's car. Truck support vehicle, so he'll be in the end, but uh, we'll we'll catch him here. He should be here soon, and then we'll grab some food, and then on to the second leg. All right, guys, we just finished up lunch, so we are headed up to Monterey now, the final stretch. I think it's like two or three hours. I'm gonna ride in the truck this time because I have some editing to do on my laptop. So nothing crazy on the way up. I'll get you a few clips. up 458 speciale to start us off and an espada lamborghini espada if y'all have never seen those before that is indeed a lamborghini i know it doesn't look like it day two all right everyone good morning to day two of car week i guess technically our first full day and this is where the excitement really begins because we just arrived at the quail this is arguably the biggest best car show at monterey car week so we are super excited to be here i mean you can tell just by the parking lot how exclusive and epic this event is going to be we got a ferrari 575 super america up oh, it's an automatic they did make a few manuals but those are uber rare and then we got this ferrari uh, this is like the boxer. Yeah, so this is worth a lot of money too. Super cool. And of course, McLaren's, Ferrari's, Lamborghini's everywhere. And this is just the parking lot. So wait till we get in the actual show. It is going to be insane. All right, Christian, what are you looking forward to most at the quail here? All of the biggest brands are gonna be giving like some press conferences, maybe with some brand new information that is first announced here at quail. That has been the case in the past. And so just some really early insider info would be awesome. Yeah, and I think the, the Rimats crew is going to be here. So we'll be able to see uh, Cresso and all of our friends that we saw in Croatia a few weeks ago. Pagani's going to be here with some cars, Koenigsegg. I mean, every big manufacturer, like you said. So we're about to see a lot of money worth of cars. So let's do it. Guys, we just walked into Quail here, the Lamborghini right here, where a huge crowd is forming, and that's because we checked the agenda. Chris, what's going on in uh, 10 minutes? In less than 10 minutes, the there's a Lamborghini press event. So they're right. announcing something. We don't know what, but there is a car under a cover. Let's just say it's the new Countach that everybody's been looking forward to for many months, and uh, I'm very excited to see it. Nobody knows what the specifications are going to be, if it's just going to be an Aventador with a body kit, or if it's going to have a dual-clutch transmission or what if it has a six-speed manual? <laughs> like, you know, to pay homage to all Countach's being manual. Who knows? That would make perfect sense, but they're not going to do it. Yeah, I highly doubt this car is going to have a gated manual, but, like, imagine how cool that would be. I would want one right now on the spot. Take my money. It's good to be back at the Quay Lodge, and for sure it's good for me to be back at Lamborghini. It was a car which was a game-changer, but not only for uh, Lamborghini, also... Uh, for the entire automotive uh, super sports car industry. But before I go ahead, let's do the unveiling of the car. Cool car. Only 112 times. And guess what? They are all sold.
the largest investments for the future. By 2030, all Bentley will be electric. Alrighty guys, Chris and I just finished up a nice lunch, which uh, was free, free and amazing. So like double win-win. Now I'm sure you're wondering, what's your favorite car at the show? I'm sure you're asking right now. All right, Jeffrey and Christian, what's your favorite car at the show? You've seen them all. Well, we are right behind the Pagani booth. Yeah, so I'm gonna put the camera here. We wanna do a little, little talking segment. Paganis are just too cool. I don't and think I've seen this many in one place exactly. ever before. Exactly. Dude, there's like eight here. Paganis just have the most insane attention to detail ever. This is just my dream. One day, the carbon work and everything, that interior, the gold wing doors, which are obviously down right now. Oh, this spec is so sick. And then we got this yellow one, which I guess just got revealed, unveiled, sitting up top here. Beautiful yellow paint. Once again, check out the air scoop. This rear end, just beautiful. Every little detail on this car, even in the, even in the places where you don't think anybody would be looking, they have attention to detail. Okay, this thing. Here's one with the doors up. Come on, tell me this is not one of the coolest cars. This is so sick, and to just be able to walk up to it, well, goes to show this is the coolest event. You're so close to your dream cars, one-off cars, cars that are just being released, as you saw today. The titanium exhaust, all the carbon. And there's a look at that interior. Absolutely stunning. If you were to ask me what car I'm taking from Quail, although it's a tough decision, there's a lot of cool cars, I think I'd take one of these Paganis. I'm telling you, I promise you, one day we will have a Pagani. What is your favorite one here, guys? Okay, comment down below. If you could pick any of these Paganis, would you take the Wyra Roadster? Insane car with like purple brown carbon totally unreal uh would you take that one that one that one that one or this one this is blue on blue oh my goodness once again look at uh, look at the look at all the gauges they're like a gold never seen that in the contrasting gold yellow stitching insane all right i may take this one i've never seen this one in person i've seen some of the other ones but this blue carbon so sick so maybe I'll take this one. Comment down below what you guys would take, any car at the show, and then also if you had to pick a Pagani, which one would you take? So Tyler Hoover just rolled up. What in the world? I didn't even know you'd be here. Such a fancy event. Look at us getting all dressed up. And we noticed, look at the watches. Almost the exact same. So what's your favorite car here? Chris and I were just talking favorite cars here. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm 300 SL going probably, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw that one. Countach rally cars. That's what I'm here for. So. Oh, right. Only four broke, but they were able to be fixed. So they're all. So you brought your Countach? Yeah, it's here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is it, wait, is it one of those? No, 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 they, okay. they, they, I'm not worthy today. <laughs> well, great seeing you. Check out his channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you in Arizona one of these days. All right, guys, walking out now, going back by the parking lot and all the <laughs> secondary show yeah, cars. Like, exactly, show part two. It's literally a show out in the parking lot. What do you guys think about this two-tone Ferrari F430? I've never seen anything like this. This, I mean, we, want, we were thinking of doing some sort of two-tone on our Mercedes, but on a Ferrari? I don't know. Comment down below. Would you rock this two-tone 430? Pretty, uh, pretty different. The parking lot car show continues where you not only have one SF90, but two SF90s, almost identical spec, except this one's got a little uh, yellow gold stripe going up that silver piece, whereas this has it in red. Uh, and slightly different wheels too. Oh man, these are the carbon fiber wheels. That looks epic. These are, I don't know, I guess it's standard wheels. And the rear end's identical. What do you guys think about the SF90? It's like a mini baby cheaper LaFerrari, I guess. I don't know where it falls in their product lineup. Kind of like that midpoint hypercar. So sick. But I will admit, we've seen a lot of SVJs. Like, people drop 600 grand on an SVJ to be unique, right? They're gonna roll up to car week and they're gonna be like the only SVJ in town and they're gonna be the coolest cat on the block. And then they get here and there's like 10 SVJs running around. So you're no longer special, but 
I will say I haven't seen a blue one, so this dude is pretty unique, but cool car nonetheless, but I would not drop that amount of money. I would take something else a little more unique. Even like our six-speed Mercy, that car, yeah, it's not worth as much as the SVJ, but it's a lot more unique. Have not seen a single stick Mercy this whole entire show. Probably one of the most stressful things we've ever done, backing up the truck in a tiny parking lot. On with... a golf course. This is not a parking lot. This oh. is a putting green. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. On a putting green with a SF90 feet behind you and a 992 Carrera on the other side. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, we're gonna fit in here. Jeez, why put the cone so close to dang roll? All right, I'm moving the cone. Let me just move this over just a little bit. There we go, safe and sound. All right guys, a couple of hours later now, we just left the quail and now we are rolling up to Pebble Beach. The quail, by the way, 10 out of 10. First time there, blue wear expectations. Yes, and we didn't even take advantage of all of the free everything. Champagne, caviar, oh my goodness, over the top. Amazing, so quail, thanks for having such an amazing event. But anyway, we're rolling up to Pebble Beach here where we'll be checking out some of the auctions. So Gooding & Company is putting together an insane sale, including that McLaren F1 that you've seen all over social media. So Pebble Beach is really interesting to me. We're kind of figuring out our lay of the land. It is scattered around this whole golf course. It's kind of check in the Gooding and Company auction tent up there, but a decent walk away is the Concours lawn and some of the other booths. There's like a Bugatti booth somewhere, there's a Ferrari booth versus Quail was a little bit more together, a little bit less walking. This Sunday, of course, is the famous Concours d'Elegance. Yeah, we're walking to it right now. We'll see if we can get any shots before the main event. Might be a little more open, but that's kind of that famous shot that you might have in mind when you think Pebble Beach over the cliff, over the water. And there you guys have it. World famous Pebble Beach. Come Sunday, now all that green is gonna be covered by millions and millions and millions of dollars of almost one-off uh, collectible cars. This is pretty incredible. They're playing some violin music. This oh. is like for the elites. This is so crazy. This is to think like Tiger Woods was like right there. Like that's pretty cool. You can get a tea time right now. Look at these guys. Yeah, imagine how hard it is to get Who a tea time. All right, how will he do? He just hit it. Whoever you are, sir, good job. Just feet away from the hole. No big deal. Ferrari F40 rolling on by. Jeez, that guy's young. That is sick. Welcome to Car Week. All right, Kieran and Colin just rolled up. We are going in to the Gooding and Company auction. I want to place our bets right now. What do you think the McLaren F1's going to go for? They estimated between 10 and 20 million, right, Christian? Yeah. 14.6. Okay, Colin? 16.8. Christian? 20. Oh my goodness. 14, 16, 20. He thinks it's going to go to the top. I think it's going to go darn near the top, too. I mean, it's got like 230 miles on it. That's crazy. We're about to see it up here in a minute. Just shy him. 18 million. And if it goes anything less than 10 million, we're gonna bid on it. So let's go see. <laughs> there she is, ladies and gentlemen, the McLaren F1. I don't exactly know the chassis number on this one. Do you even know the color? I know, heck, I don't even know the color either. This is like a, God, how do you describe this color? It's between like a gray, a purple, and a, and a brown. brown. And a brown or something. Look at the tire brand. It's got Eagle F1s on it. Coincidence? I think not. Oh, there's the gold plated exhaust. Very nice. Probably the most expensive car to sell at Car Week. Unless it sells for under 10 million in which we buy it, but we'll see. Beautiful Lamborghini Mura. All right, of these five silver cars, which one would you take if money was no object? The Mura, the DB, geez, what is this? DB4, DB5, Maserati Ghibli SS Coupe. All these are probably worth a fortune. 3,500 Spider. Oh my gosh, 575 to $650,000 estimate. So of the five, which would you take or which do you think is the most beautiful? I think between these three, these are some of the most beautiful, iconic cars in automotive history. Another of the most beautiful cars, arguably, 300 SL Gullwing. This is like the seventh one today. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, we're in heaven, this is unreal. All these unicorn cars everywhere you look. I think that's the... That's like the one from Ford versus Ferrari. GT40, oh my goodness. Estimated between seven and nine million dollars. Let's go see the CLK GTR. AMG fanboy inside me is good. Whip out the black card, dude. I've never seen one in person, ever. I've never seen one either. You should bid on it. How much is it estimated? Uh, oh, 8. yeah. 8.5 to 10. Uh, just casually, eight and a half million. What do you guys think in the comment section down below? How about getting into this thing? Is there any production car with wider 
thresholds to get over. Oh my goodness, that's gotta be a cockpit. Unreal, look at that detail. Look at that engineering in this old, geez, what is it? A Duesenberg, oh my gosh, that's probably gonna go for a lot of money. Let's go see what some of these cars are gonna go for. <laughs> Alrighty guys, a few days later now, we are home safe and sound, back here at the hangar. Now, I know you're wondering, where are the clips from Concourse Elegance in Pebble Beach? Well, unfortunately, Christian and I, the past few days, we're starting to feel a little bit off. I think we just like overworked ourselves with the quail and the sun, and with COVID stuff running around just in case, we wanted to play it safe, so we skipped the car show. So unfortunately, missed some of that action, but don't worry, we'll be going there next year, hopefully. But anyway, like we said in the beginning with the truck, we brought it so that we could take a car home, right? Well, unfortunately, the McLaren F1 didn't sell for less than $10 million, so we didn't buy that car. So we still had an open car to throw on the trailer. So that's when we decided, oh, we'll pick up the black Ferrari 458 from the Real Life Exotic guys. Now that all the body work is done, it's ready to go, just be put back together, the final assembly. So there's a little update there. But anyway, real quick, real quick, on that 12 hour drive home, we had a lot of time we had a lot of time to think to ourselves, and something that I could not shake out of my head were those Paganis. I don't know what it is, something about those cars, just, I, I'm captivated, I am so intrigued, I am so hooked on the idea of a Pagani. I'm not even kidding, it's only a matter of time before we have a Pagani. It's not that far out, I promise you we will have one, and it's not just some video like, oh, we're gonna buy a Pagani one day, voila, done. Like, no, we genuinely will, and I've already started to do some uh, headway work on a Pagani. Again, I had a big drive home, so I started texting some people. Little did I know that red Pagani at the beginning that I was talking about at the show, that was actually owned by like uh, somebody who knows about the channel. Um, his son actually like commented on the picture. And I was like, no way, that's that's their Pagani like that I just happened to take a picture next to. I had no idea. So I sent the kid a message, I'm like, yo, is your dad ever gonna sell the Pagani? Like, that's a beautiful car, like super sick. Like, who knows, you never know. Maybe they'll throw out a number, I doubt they'll sell. But I thought of one other person on our drive home. A couple years ago, I met this guy. He's like one of the coolest car people I've ever met. He's here local, he has the craziest stories. Let's just say he's owned a McLaren F1, has some insane stories about that car that hopefully he'll tell here on the channel. But anyway, I remember him saying in passing something about it, he's like, Oh yeah, like I have a Pagani Zonda or something. I, I I forgot about that car, you know. I'm like, what? He's got a Pagani Zonda? I just didn't think anything of it when he mentioned it a couple years ago. And then now that we're hooked on the idea of a Pagani and really want to get one one day, I reached out. I was just texting him. I said, didn't you say you have a Zonda? And he replies one minute later, he's like, yeah, C12. And then he sends a bunch of pictures. It's the the Zonda S with the 7.3 liter naturally aspirated V12 with like 550 horsepower. Absolute monster of a car. And he just sends some pictures. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. This guy is insane. I'm like, wow, that's beautiful. What's the story with that one? Would you ever sell it? And that is where I left it just a minute ago. So, I don't know. What if he says he'll sell the Zonda? So that begs the question for this video to end it out. Comment down below, guys. When we buy our Pagani, would you guys rather see a Wyra, which amazing car, epic car, as you saw in this video, it's the only road legal one. The reason you don't see Zondas, or you rarely see them, is because I'm pretty sure there's none that are road legal, so it's a little sketchy driving the cars. You gotta like just take them to car shows. You may not be able to register them until they're 25 years old so that they're exempt from all the uh, US homologations and emissions stuff. I don't know, what do you guys think, Wyra? or Zonda. I like the idea of a naturally aspirated V12. That is more appealing to me than the twin turbo AMG motor. Something about a high revving naturally aspirated V12. What if we could find a good deal on a Zonda or buy this one from our friend, use it sparingly, take it to shows, and then wait until it's 25 years old and then the values will go up because then you can legally register it in the US. 
I don't know, maybe something like that. That could be a good, that could be a good investment move. If you guys have any leads on Pagani's, shoot us an email, jrgarage22 at gmail.com. I don't know, one way or another we'll pull one down. We can sell a bunch of cars, we can sell some planes. Once we set our mind to something and put a goal out there, we usually make it happen. So one way or the other, I think we can pull one down at some point in the upcoming months or years. But thank you guys for watching this video. What an exciting one, Car Week was always such a special place to be, but this year was even more special going to the quail and seeing all those insane cars and seeing all of our YouTuber friends. Well, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. We have two great videos coming up for you guys. Uh, next video, we have a huge Aston Martin update. Crazy good news to do with that car. You remember we picked that up last video. Hope you all have an amazing day. See you later. It feels right.